Hey guys, PSI Scorpio here, bringing you another Fat Pack opening. This week, Kanza Tarkir. Um, so starting off with this set, uh, I just rotated at a standard. Um, so I actually noticed uh, the local card store I go to, the packs are actually $5 each now instead of being 4 So you can already see the price going up. Um, I'm assuming it's because of all the fetch lands in this set. Um, and like, you know, the value of those, um, those will probably never go down. You know, we got our little player's guide. Uh, same as the, oh, the Gatewatch one. This talks about all like the Planeswalkers of this set. Um, the 10 coolest cards, you have Soren, Sarkhan, you have a, the Polluted Delta, Murderous Cut, Wingmate Rock. Seeker of the Way, Creator Claws, Snowhorn Rider, the Sultai Charm, which is debatable. I don't really think that's the best charm. And uh, Obzon Falconer. Falconer. And then it lists all the cards in the set and whatever. That's all fine and dandy. And then the poster, which eh, I'm not too big of a fan of this one. It's just, um, it's just Sergo with his army. I think that's Zergo. And you got, like, giant dragon in the background. But, like, you have really, like, all the, you know, the warriors and stuff stampeding and whatever. So that's, that's cool and stuff. Getting into the actual fat pack. Once again, we have all this cardboard that really isn't required. The two mini deck boxes. I actually like Sarkhan's art in this set. I think it looks really cool. It really looks like a firebender. And, uh, yeah. and the uh, puke green die. And we get the land pack and the nine packs. So I actually, I was talking to my friend today, and I was asking him if he could see in maybe like five or six years down the road, um, paying maybe like 10 bucks, nine bucks, like 11 bucks, 12 bucks for a pack of uh, cons. Because, um, you know, you see that with sets like New Phyrexia, which is at twelve fifty a pack, I think, at least in my store that I go to. Uh, other sets like um, Dark Ascension isn't that much more, but like it's still like all these are expensive. Like even Avison Restored, expensive sets um, that came out like a few years ago. And I, oh, is this already torn? Wow, that's interesting. I guess that's starting off with the first pack, a pre, pre cut as if, and. Um, I've drafted this set before. I didn't really have too many good experiences in draft, but um, that's not to say that the set's bad in any way. First rare is a Savage Knuckle Blade. Nice Temer. Um, I, I I think Temer's really good. Good uh, tricolor. Really fun with elementals and stuff. Especially when you can give it haste, return it to your, return it to the owner's hands. It gives it plus two plus two until end of turn. That's pretty good. So late game, you could pump it, whatever. That's all fun and dandy. But yeah, I was um, me and my friend were discussing it. I was I was uh, arguing that it probably will the the set will probably drastically go up as time goes on, like the value of it, because this set is just uh, so. You know, there's so much value in it. It's not like extremely valuable like Modern Masters is, but it's still like you know, ooh, Blood Soak Champion. That's a good card. Nice and mono black uh, raid. You know. I mean, I can't imagine paying any more than like maybe $15 a pack ever. Because I just don't see the set demanding that much. Like you have uh, you have the fetches, you have um, Sarkhan, Soren. But like, you know, there really isn't too many other cards that are like extremely... And a polluted delta! I am... Uh... I'm rolling in the money. Not really, but I think that's my first ever polluted delta I've ever pulled. I haven't opened too much of con, so I've never really pulled any um, fetch lands. I think I've pulled a wooded foothill. I've pulled a wooded foothills before. Um, other than that, I don't really recall opening too many fetches. But that's really that's really nice because that's a that's a really good card. I could actually use that in my commander deck, and we have a foil. So we have Trap Essence. Pretty fun card. Again, Temer. 
counter target spell, but two 1 1 counters up on up to one target creature. So that's pretty fun. And a uh, war name Aspriant with raid. That's pretty good. Raid is always fun. And the nice goblin tokens. Anyone who plays goblins is like, ugh. I don't like people who play Krenko goblin, like mono red goblins. Then again, I play mono red land destruction, so not as like turn three lethal, but still. I get a lot of hate from everyone, all my friends, for playing that that deck. I don't care. I think it's fun. So, and a villainous wealth, not too good. Um, yeah, it's a kind of an iffy card, so you know. Sorry for the cut there. I had to deal with something. So continuing on here, yeah, like I was saying, villainous wealth a little iffy. It's not that good. But, you know, you can make it work if you really want to. Any card can really do work. Unless it's absolutely awful. Which there are cards like that. Ooh, CD Unwritten, our first Mythic. So, that puts us at one Mythic so far. And, um, we had one Mythic in the Oath Fat Pack. We have one Mythic in this Fat Pack. So, hopefully we can get one more. I wouldn't mind a Planeswalker. Um... I don't have a Sarkon, so that would be nice. Maybe even a foil one. Foil is always welcome. Nice try lands. Mending Tower Shell. Nice turtle with Island Walk. You know, a 5 drop that's a 5 9 with Island Walk isn't that bad. But whenever you attack, you have to exile it and then return it to the battlefield. And it's a pawn. It's owner's control, tapped and attacking at the beginning of the declared. Declare attacker's step on the, on your next turn. So, a little confusing, a little crazy, a little out of hand, but... Ooh. Get that nice, hard-to-open packs already. <clears throat> Mardu Charm, that's pretty good. Sage of the Inward Eye, not that good, but still... Like I said before, it's kind of debatable which charm's the best. It, it just depends on how it's played, honestly. I don't think Soul Tide Charm is that good. Just because it's like Soul Tide itself can be kind of a weak um, color combination generally. Even though you have really good like removal in black and blue and stuff. like It's just the overall way it's played. Like I guess it could be good, but you know, like I said before, it just depends on how you play. So last pack... Um, like I say all the other times, if you have anything you want to see me open, let me know. As long as it's not alpha, I could probably get my hands on it. Maybe even, um, Team or Charm, um, like anything that's within the last 10 years, I could probably get at least a few packs of, like, I can't buy boxes of car, like, of, like, Dark Steel or Fifth Dawn or... Even like the original mirrored in that, like that's just too much. But um, I could get packs. I know it's kind of lame, but it, I'm trying to make it work. Ooh, Sea Drino, that's really good. Okay, last pull coming in clutch. We got the Sea Drino. And the Sarkon emblem. I didn't get a Sarkon, but I got an emblem, so that's pretty good. So yeah, if you like this video, definitely leave a like. Leave a comment if you want to see something opened. Um, Kaladesh is only like two days away, so... Um, I'm probably not going to do a video about it because so many other people covered it already. Um, plus I'm not as smart as other people, so generally things I say tend to backfire because I'm not super, like, educated in magic, so yeah. But, um, yeah, definitely. And, uh, if you like this video, share it, do whatever, I don't care. Um, it's up to you. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.